Hey there, here's Jan from Jovo, and today I'm going to show you a new feature that was just added to the Alexa platform last week. It's how to get your uh, user contact details by using the customer contact permissions for Alexa. And in the previous video, I showed you how to get, uh, for example, your user's name and email address uh, by using login with Amazon account linking. And uh, this was uh, kind of a tedious process where you had to set up a service profile and then go into the developer console and set up account linking um, here with uh, all those details here. And I will go through that later as well. And what Amazon launched last week, it's is something that is called customer contact information or customer contact permissions. It enables you to uh, just ask your users for permissions so people don't have to um, put in username and password, for example, um, they can just uh, tap on a button in their Alexa app to uh, provide you with uh, the right permissions to access uh, certain types of information, um, such as a, a telephone number, a, a full name, a given name, um, and an email address. And we're going to use that now. So uh, in the previous video, uh, we created a very, very simple skill um, that did the following. So we, um, we did account linking and if, um, if there was no access token available, we would ask the, um, the user uh, for, uh, to link their accounts and if they then went into, them, into their Alexa companion apps and did the account linking, we would receive an, uh, an access token in the next request. And there we would need to do an API call to Amazon and then parse that and, and retrieve the right information. So um, if I now do a Jovo run to try it out, um, let me open that in the Jovo debugger. Open my account linking app. Hello, Jovo. Accounts plus Amazon at Jovo.tech. So as you can see, this uh, this works. So I um, I have it locked here. So uh, the name of this account that I'm using is Jovo, and that's the email address. And so now we're trying to get the email address without doing all of these necessary steps. And um, so th this is what we need to do to, to get uh, to this point. So the first thing is uh, we need to go to the Amazon developer portal, um, remove all the account linking stuff and just enable a uh, contact permissions uh, for the email address. And then the next step is to update our code uh, so that we don't do the, the unnecessary API call and so on. So let's do this. So this was the skill that I created. And if, uh, if I scroll down here, um, you can see that here's this account linking part and I can just disable it. We don't need that anymore. And, uh, and if I look to the, to the left, custom is where like all the stuff like uh, interaction model is sitting. We have account linking and here are the permissions. And since last week, um, there are some more permissions that we can use. So we have customer name, for example, and, uh, and customer email address. And so let's try to get the customer email address for now. So it can just um, enable that and that's it. And now if people enable um, the skill, they will be asked uh, for, for the permission. And even if they don't give us the permission right away, we can ask in the skill and we will just do that now. So let's go to our code and update it there. So our code logic here is, uh, as explained, we're looking for an access token. If we don't have the access token, we, um, we send the cards to the, the user's Alexa app to the, do the account linking. And we can basically remove all of this and replace it with something way simpler. So let's just remove that. And let's take a look at an example file. So we have um, in the Jovo framework examples folder, uh, we have an example file um, for contact permissions. And so we in integrated this into the user object. So we can just um, use this dot user dot get email and then uh, try to receive the, the, user, um, the user email address. And so we can just copy that for now and um, just copy that here and um, just do that, hello world. The email address is the following. 
And, um, and if it doesn't work, if it uh, catches an error, um, we can see if, there's, uh, if the error code is no user permission. So the user hasn't, uh, hasn't given us the permission yet. So this is uh, similar to the uh, account linking card that we just uh, that we previously sent in the uh, account linking process. Um, this is the uh, contact uh, permission card that we're sending, which is easier. People don't have to put in their username and, and email address uh, or, and password and so on. Uh, they can just uh, tap a button and that will show you how it works as well. Um, Let's add this in the Alexa app that people know what's going on. And also, um, if it's a different error, we can just do something like error. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically it. So we um, that's um, a little easier to understand code. We don't have to do an API call, so we can remove the the request uh, module. And um, this is how, how to ask for different uh, data points. And let's um, rerun the server again. And see what happens. Open my account linking app. There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, so there's a uh, um, one thing I forgot, um, this is a newest feature, so this was added to the uh, Jova framework version 1.4, which we launched last week, and so uh, I created this previous project uh, um, earlier, I think two or three weeks ago, so this has a version that's not up to date, so if we look at package.json, this still uses Jova framework 1.3.4, so make sure that you update your Jovo framework. So you can do that with npm install save Jovo framework. And so we're using uh, the option save to, to make sure that the current version is added to the package.json so that we can tr keep track of what package version we're using. So let's take a look at the package.json. And here, so we're now using 1.4.1. One. And um, okay, so let's, let's try that again. Let's do Jovo run. Open my account linking app. Please grant access to your email address in the Alexa app. Okay, so I don't have, uh, I, I haven't granted access uh, now, so I need to go into the Alexa app on my phone and grant access, and I will uh, get back to you when this is done. Okay, so I just uh, granted permission on my phone, and you can see it in the screenshots here. And uh, let's, so let's try it again. And again, I will open it on my uh, Jovo debugger. Just refresh that and uh, try it again. Open my account linking app. Hello world. Your email address is accounts plus Amazon at jovo.tech. Okay, so as you can see, this worked. So I successfully granted permission uh, for the skill to retrieve the email address. Uh, without having to set up any OAuth stuff, uh, without having to set up a security profile uh, for Amazon. So it's just by enabling contact permissions and then using the Jovo user object to retrieve those permissions. And that's it. So I recommend anyone who just needs their user's email address, for example, or name to go with uh, contact permissions instead of going with account linking because it provides a way easier um, solution to getting those in infos uh, with way less friction uh, for the users. And so uh, this is definitely a, a, a great step into the right direction. Uh, we would love to see um, voice enabled uh, contact permissions. Uh, hopefully we will see this in the future. So uh, we hope you liked it. Uh, as, as you can see in the code example, there are way more things like a given name, a full name, and so on, which you can, uh, which you can use and access. Um, we're very excited what you're using this for. See you soon.